Oof. Greetings to all, my name is Andy and welcome back to my playthrough of Tales of Vesperia for the Xbox 360. I better keep this brief as our water is dropping. <laughs> In our previous episode we've been making our way through the sands of Kogor, suffering heat stroke for both character and player along the way. <laughs> Off screen I did a bit of training so that I could get our overlimit gauge back, and in the process, Yuri learned one of my favourite arts of his, Shining Dragon Swarm. <laughs> a combination of Shining Fang and Dragon Swarm. Anyway, for this battle coming up here, I recommend having Rita, Estelle, Judith and Yuri in your team. Whew, you shall see why soon enough. <laughs> I expect this to... nope, not you Cactus. I expect this to be a multiple take. Something isn't right. Be on your guard. That's not Pharaoh! Yeah, there's something different about that voice. Hey! What the? That's disgusting! I've never seen a monster like that! That's not a monster. If it's not a monster, what the hell is it? <laughs> Even repeats frightened. This can't be good. Let's get out of here! It's coming this way! Damn, looks like we have no choice. Out of the way, you two! What? This is Outbreaker. Looks like a Shoggoth had a baby with a Mantine. Is the... The Shoggoth is level 35. It has 78,925 hit points. This thing is a problem, especially for secret missions. Stay. I don't want to deal with it if we don't have to. Come on, guys. It's a little too late for Fight. that. Dude. I guess we have no choice. Still, stay back. Okay, scan it again. Scan it again. Doing it again, you can see its resistances and weaknesses have changed now that the day-night cycle has gone through. I have to attack it. I have to attack it whenever the ball inside it emerges. Still, why are you not casting heals? Come on, come on, do the day night thing again. Whoa, flipping it. Now we'll have some fun. Getting close. Oh, Don Moon, good timing. <laughs> Don Moon is a nice base art. It, it's good for catching your own enemies by surprise. Why are you guys not defending? Or is Yuri just not defending now? Laser! Every time it switches from day to night, it restores some of its health, and we really can't have that because... Wait, Judith doesn't have item for her? She must be the last character that doesn't have it. Damn, this is very hit and miss. <laughs> Oh, just 
Just a few more, just a few more. I just hope it doesn't die before this, actually. Breaker. Spit your ball out, damn it! Ow. Yes! <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Alright, great manifestation of confusion. Feel my wrath as I switch back to the purple haired beast from oh, I had something for this. <laughs> Put the archer back. Whoa, where am I seal from? Oh crap, I seal from my arcs. <laughs> Sorry, Judith, you're back in play. I guess we got it, but... Oh, I'm Whew. so tired. You already stole my kill, but... <sighs> Versus Outbreaker. Destroyed the core and prevented magic from inverting day and night. Come on, snap out of it. We're all shattered. World's charm and mysterious peace. I'll take it. It vanished. What's this? Uh, I can't go on. Rita, Carol. I'm afraid even I can't take any more. This isn't good. What? A, a town? That dragon from the Weasand of Kados. <laughs> Go ahead. Hope you choke on my bones. Collapsed in the desert. And this can't be heaven. Where are we? You know what? Not now. Screw you, man. What the heck are you wearing? Are you alright already? You can rest as long as you need to. You're awake. Are you alright? You passed out by the town entrance. That doesn't tell me much. Sepandrionis. 
Must be a star in the southern celestial hemisphere. Good morning. You ready for some of the best background music in the entire game? Oh, Yuri, are you feeling better now? Yeah, how about you guys? Are you alright? Yes, it would seem that way. We all collapsed in the desert, right? So what are we doing in this town? Seems like someone came to our aid. Though we're not sure who. What about the couple who was with us? They appear to have been brought here as well. So they didn't get a look at our rescuers either? Apparently they lost consciousness like the rest of us. I believe the two of them are having a look around town. I wonder, was it just a mirage? What do you mean? Oh, just before I blacked out, I saw that dragon that got the air under control back at Kados. Really? Yeah. Didn't you see it, Estelle? No, I didn't see anything. Was it just a mirage then? So, what's the story? Where exactly are we? A kindly gentleman is looking into that very matter for us. Kindly gentleman? Oh, you mean the old man. Hey, they're okay. There's no barrier here. This town is weird. I thought the mountains in the east were supposed to be uninhabited. Rita, Carol, over here. What's that? The monster that attacked us in the desert dropped it. I didn't see any feathers on that thing. That's one of Pharaoh's feathers. But why would that monster have one of Pharaoh's feathers? Hmm. Man, there's so much we don't know. Welcome back. And just why was it up to me to go tromping off on a recon mission? If I'd gone, this sweet young lady would have been all alone with you. That's far too unsafe. Oh, look at Rupert. <laughs> unsafe? You can't possibly mean me. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I think I'm gonna gag. Suppose I don't mind people thinking I'm dangerous. Adds to my mysterious charm. It seems we're in Jormgen. You know, that town from the diary on the ghost ship. Wait, this is Jormgen? The town that needed the clear seal crystal to protect itself from monsters? It makes sense. They don't have a barrier here. That's reason enough to be looking for a way to keep out monsters. But that was a thousand years ago. Yeah, and I find it strange that they were getting by at all without a barrier. You're right. What if we were to show this case to one of the locals and ask them? Yes, we might learn something about Pharaoh that way as well. I agree. Heartland to town, Jormigan. This has to be one of the nicest places in the game. With the nicest music. Looks like we're back in control. Just, just look at this place. You know, if I stayed here, I wouldn't leave. I don't know. It seems to only have three houses. What was the deal with that weird monster we ran into in the sands of Kogor? Just the thought of it still sends chills down my spine. Was that thing even alive? Huh? What do you mean? Well, it wasn't anything like other creatures that make their home in the desert. Huh. Another astute observation from Captain Carroll. Whatever it was, I hope we never see it again. Me too. There's hoping, guys. What do you have to say? Our village chief is a great man, but the sage is even greater. The sage will drive out any monster that may attack us. Good for you. Anyway, let's see what else is... Ooh, treasure chest. 
<laughs> Lemon bottle. <laughs> I'll take it. Nice. Most if not all the inns are named after stars, but I have no idea what this one is. Ah, fine. How did you even get here? Guess you found me, you're pretty good. I'll teach you to cook as a reward. Croquet? Oh, okay. You're partly redeemed, Wonder Chef. I'll give you this so you can practice. Gotta go, till we meet again. Whoa. <laughs> Two skits flashed up in rapid succession there. An hourglass? Oh, wow. An hourglass temporarily freezes enemies during a battle. <laughs> Freakishly useful at times, but it's one of those items that I always think is so good that I never use it and it ends up just staying there forever. Anyway, is there something right here? Something's written here. Cecile loves friends. Okay. You want to get this save point. <laughs> Let's have a look around. Up here is Polaris. I know Polaris. There we go. <laughs> There's a familiar name. Welcome, travelers. Please let us have a look at it. Please. <laughs> Let's have a have a look at our wares as well. We gotta stock up <laughs> after two bosses in quick succession. <laughs> oh no! Don't eat my lunch, just. Damn! I keep forgetting how expensive pineapple gels are. Funny thing is, though, it's only fractionally cheaper to synthesize them. I'll keep five for in a pinch. You really don't have much else here apart from really valuable equip items. Resist ring, protect ring, diamond, and amethyst. Oh, but they have food too. Score. We've got to stock up on our food. Actually, I didn't do a whole lot of cooking when we were in the desert. Thankfully though, regardless of where we are in the world, we can always synthesize. And yes! Yes, yes! This is why I was saying we should fight those ghostly entities. The fire spirits and the ice spirits. It's for this thing here, Limit Trio. To synthesize this, you need the Limit Duo, which Judith gave us in Gas Frost, a Flare Stone and a Frost Stone. This allows us to reach over limit level 3, so we're definitely going to want this. Cha -ching! I should really off screen go back and get more frost stones. <laughs> I think we will need more of those. Oh, that's an interesting skill. <laughs> Second attack. Carol's attacks inflict more damage on the enemy after the second hit. That's for his upgraded Corolian sword. Huh. I guess that's what I get for neglecting it. Ooh, Flamberg. Or Flamberge. Oh, we gotta get one of those. <laughs> Actually, there's another one that's very similar that I would hope we could pick up as well. Well, it's not very similar. In fact, it's the opposite. <laughs> but alas, I don't think it's there yet. Hmm. Anyway, looping back around, <laughs> I will pick up the Flamberge for Yuri. Chain and Hellfire, two skills that allow us to alter arcs, and Strength 3 is always welcome. Look at that thing. A magic sword resembling a sunset. One touch of the scorching blade is enough to dry the sea. <laughs> I love the hyperbole that you get in video games. Anyway, as I said that I was going to mention in my previous episode, there are certain items that have certain skills that allow you to alter your arts. So if I have a look at Yuri now, he should have two should have both Chain and Hellfire. 
Now, there are certain arts that can be chained into what are called altered arts, based on what of these skills you have set. Now, after a hundred uses of said altered arts, you then permanently learn them. Where is it 50? <laughs> after repeated use, can be learned if used repeatedly. It is right there. Altered arts are typically slight variants of the pre-existing arts, obviously. But they're typically more powerful, or they have an attribute associated with them, or generally something makes them better. <laughs> they normally have increased TP usage, but the good thing about altered arts is, especially with altered base arts, they can be performed really fast, and you can combo burst arts to them. So if you're all about your burst arts, then <laughs> you'll love these. People here seem to be dressed really weird. It's like they're some kind of kids' TV show. Uh, hello. The cause scene of countless bloody bastards is so thrilling. I want to die in that stone certainly someday. That's my dream. Wild, isn't it? It's a shame the Coliseum is so far from here. It's far enough that we were able to cross it within a month at least. <laughs> the new moon hasn't came around again. Anyway, let's see what we can find here. What do you have to say? You came from across the sea? You must be so tired. Been on a ship for a long time, yes? What? No, last day? What's that? So that woman has no concept of a blast day, huh? Hey, it's you guys! How you doing? Thank you so much for saving us. I want to hurry back to Mantic to see the kids. And the kids must be worried. If only they didn't come looking for us. Actually, if they didn't come looking for you, we would never have known you were out in the desert at all. Uh, what's it, Daisy? What's in here? A tent. I'll take it. Oh my goodness. That looks nice. <laughs> it's quite surreal though, isn't it? You look out onto the lake and it's just dry, arid, almost Mars-like mountains off in the desert. Anyway, what's this guy saying up here? You okay, dog? Woof. If you have a question, you should ask the sage. You can really depend on him. Our current mirror is too young and unreliable. Hmm. Uh, what do you have to say? You look worried. That box! Do you know something about this box? Yeah, Estelle just... <laughs> Carrying that box in the same mystery compartment you're carrying your sword and your shield. Launchy had it. Where did you get it? On a ship called the Atherum, my lovely lady. Have you heard of it? Of course. You know about the Atherum too? Uh, yes. We happen to come across it on the ocean. Did you see Launchy? And Launchy would be. Oh, Launchy is my love. I'm sorry to suddenly get so personal. Your love. Damn it. Hey, Carol. Your turn. You're hopeless. Um, all that we saw was, uh, the ship itself. Oh, I see. Could I ask your name? Oh, my name is Uifon. That's the name that was in the diary we found on the Atherum. Do you know about the Clear Seal Crystal? They say it has the power to drive back monsters. The Sage said it was necessary to make a barrier around the town. Is that what's in the box? Yes, we came to deliver this box to you. I, I see. Hey, is that the key? Could I have the box? Wow, is this the clear CL crystal? Looks like it. So who's that sage you were talking about earlier? The sage is a great Critian who came to our town from across the desert. A Critian? Well, creating a barrier is basically creating a Blastia. Blastia? Uh... But we can make Blastia with current technology, right? There are people who do, 
You saw the Blastia at Emmied Hill in Ker Bakram. But I don't think that Sage guy is the one who made those Blastia with messed up formulas. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't really understand. But the Sage said that the clear CL crystal was needed to create the barrier. So Long Chi set out to look for it. It's been three years since he left. Three years, huh? You must be worried. Wait, this sounds weird. Yeah, the stories don't match up. You think she could have miscounted by a thousand years? How old is she anyway? Is that Sage in this town? Where does he live? Oh, yes. He lives in the house farthest into the town. I think it might be faster if we went to talk to the Sage. Yes, maybe so. Um, if you're going there, could you take the Clear CL Crystal to the Sage for me? Yes, of course. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go! So we got the Clear CL Crystal. Apparently it's needed to make a barrier, which makes it well, very similar to a Blastia, if not the same as. I wonder what this guy is. Yorn and Mantic are totally different. It's much cooler here. Maybe it's the ocean. But it seems boring. I wonder what the folks here do for fun. I kind of like it. This kind of calm, quiet village suits me. I can't stand loud people. Oh, that's gotta hurt, old man. She was talking about the town, not about me. Hmm, maybe. D do you really hate me that much? Oh, Raven. Keep on trying, buddy. In fact, don't. What do you have to say? Ralph Dots. I don't know you. Good. You are about the most commonsensical NPC I've ever met. Sensical. Tough. Who cares? Sage's residence. <laughs> Excuse me. Wait a second. Sure. You? How have you come to this place? What do you mean, how? We walked. As in, across the desert. I see. And yet, how did you... Hmm? No matter. For what reason have you come? We're a little curious about this. This must have cost you dearly to obtain. Actually, it just sort of landed in our lap. Hmm. That was quite a miracle. You're planning on making a barrier blast you, aren't you? You're free to go pretending you're a sage, but forget about making any blastia. Who would even consider building a barrier blastia with something that's so obviously not a core? But it is a solid mass of air. It simply lacks an inscribed formula. Lacks an inscribed formula? What do you mean? They are most commonly known as Apatheia, of which the Clear CL Crystal is one example. So this is an Apatheia? Also, I am not the Sage. Huh? No such being exists any longer. That's a problem. Uh, we'll need to get that back from you in that case. Neither I nor humanity have a need for such a thing. Whoa! What are you doing? Hold on a sec! It's the same phenomenon we saw at Cave Mock! Oh man! Just when I found one. What a dick. He just vaporized something of ours. The Apatheia bring only chaos to humanity. They are better off return to air. Return to air? Is that really all you did just now? It's still no reason to go smashing other people's things. Wasn't the clear cell crystal, the Apatheia, needed to save this town from the monsters? This town has no use for a barrier, and no need to be saved. This place has been granted everlasting calm. Come to mention it, it is pretty quiet here. But still, there are monsters like Pharaoh nearby. How do you know of Pharaoh? 
I'd ask you the same thing. You seem to know about him yourself. Please, tell us what you know. Pharaoh referred to me as a poison. I see. You know something, don't you? There is a being in this world who possesses a power the Endelikea despise. You mean... me? This being is known as the Child of the Full Moon. Child of the Full Moon? Like in the legend? By Entelikea, you mean Pharaoh? That is correct. But what would the Entelikea have against me? Against a Child of the Full Moon? What is this power the Child of the Full Moon possesses that they despise? That answer lies only within the hearts of the Entelikea themselves. Which means I've got no choice but to find Pharaoh and ask him myself. Do not be foolish. Meeting Pharaoh would end only in the death of the Child of the Full Moon. But... Estelle, give it a rest. Hey, Regay, uh, Jaeger from Ruinsgate talked about the Entelikea earlier, didn't he? Something about them being the ancient race that built Nordopolica. So Pharaoh built Nordopolica? That doesn't seem possible. Take your leave. There's nothing more for you here. Wait! There's something I want to ask you, too. What were you doing at that Air Crene? Just who are you? What is that sword of yours? Those matters exceed your comprehension. Do not ask of them again. Go. I have nothing more to say. Where do you get off? Rita. may have been the one that saved us in the desert. Hmm. Maybe. I'm gonna go and thank him. Hold up. He doesn't seem the type to do something like that. You don't think so? Just a hunch. You said that child of the full moon he mentioned was the sister of Bray Vesperia, right? Yeah. Goddess who bathes this world in her golden light you are named Child of the Full Moon. Your brother, Brave Vesperia, watches over us from the skies. You remain bound to your mother, the Earth, and will shelter her with your unceasing protection. Is there, like, a hidden meaning in there? I'm not sure. But maybe it's more than just an old legend. Remaining to protect the Earth, huh? Could protecting the Earth have anything to do with ruling over this world? You mean like becoming the Emperor? If Estelle is the child of the full moon, that would add up. Which means all the previous Emperors would have been on Pharaoh's hit list. I've never heard of anything like that. Hmm. Shouldn't we be thinking more about what to do next? I'm gonna stay here. There are things I've got to investigate. Investigate? Clear seal crystals, epithea, all kinds of things. Honestly, I have a few bones to pick with Mr. Warm and Fuzzy over there. If you're all going back, we'll have to say our goodbyes here. But... Oh, that's too bad. I don't imagine the desert will be much fun on your own, but good luck. Oh, that's right. I can't go anywhere without crossing that desert. We can afford to take a load off while she's checking things out, can't we? I'm pretty interested in Apatheia myself. Yeah. Besides, we should make sure we're ready before heading back into the desert. Why don't we head back tomorrow? Rita, think you can tie up your loose ends in a day? Shouldn't be a problem. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay then, we'll meet up near the exit tomorrow morning. Right. See you then. Let's split up, guys. Oh, me from the third repeat. <laughs> okay, well. Let's go barging back in. I have nothing left to say to you. Row of dots. Row of dots. <laughs> You 
not going to follow him? What's the point? He's not going to talk to me. So, this was a complete waste of time? Well, I wouldn't go that far. Apathy? When the air crane went berserk, Rigue, I mean, Jaeger, was carrying this box. This box was what messed up my magic. You think the apathy is what's causing the air crane to go out of control? Judging from the evidence, that could be a valid hypothesis. So when the Blastia and Heliod was going out of control, you think there was an apathia nearby? An air crane in Cave Mock, too. There may have been. Otherwise, maybe the apathy has been damaging the whole world's air crane, little by little. And a large distortion just happens to appear there. I see. It's really nothing more than a guess, but it could be right. You don't sound very sure of yourself. In science, you continually make hypotheses and test them, and you get closer and closer to the truth. That's how it is. Hmm. Well, okay. Maybe I can do something with this after all. What are you going to do now? The next step after a hypothesis is testing it. Mm -hmm. uh, there should be something in here. I'm pretty sure I can do a bit of rummaging in here. A strange mark. A crest that shortens the time a mage is immobile after casting a spell. Ah, that's actually pretty good. I'm going to give that back. I'm going to give that to Rita. There's a really old key. Doesn't look like it would open. Okay. Oh well. Anything more to say, Rita? No, not now. I'll lose my concentration. You're just standing still. Okay, maybe this is... <laughs> I'll leave. Oh lord. This music is so relaxing. If you've got headphones, put them on and listen to this. Anyway, let's see, let's see what else we can do. The truth is, the villagers' faith in me has been wavering because of the sage's help. I'm not sure whether to be grateful or perturbed. It's a strange feeling. Wait, are you the mayor? Mr. Giant Baggy Shorts? Uh, this bit here looks really nice, but what's the point in it? Apart from you. Hey, old man. You can feel free to go on ahead to Nordopolica. Hey there, young man. What, do you want to get rid of me so soon? Wrong. I just wouldn't want you to miss the new moon and your chance to deliver the letter. On a, all on our account. Honestly, I could do fine without your concern. Wrong again. If Great Vesperia gets in the way of all Tosk's work, we'll be apologizing to the Dawn for an eternity. What? You're too young to bother yourself with such fluff. It's a matter of Great Vesperia being trustworthy. You see what I mean? We've still got time left until the new moon. We'll be fine. You sure? Anyway, I ain't about to go back through the desert in that cave myself. If I got killed by some monster on the way there, not only would the letter not get delivered, but Brave Vesperia certainly wouldn't look very trustworthy to potential clients then, would they? In that case, we'd collect your bones in the letter and deliver them as promised. Oh, how kind of... Wait, hey! Anyway, so long as you <laughs> won't bl go blaming me, if you don't manage to deliver it on time. No problem. <laughs> yep, we bring you your corpse as well to Belius. And we're as Judith as always. You're always out walking around, aren't you? Yes, I guess I'm a pretty restless person. That's unexpected. You seem to have some problems to put yourself. I'm pretty restless myself. That's not so unexpected, I think. 
row of dots. Maybe it's the Wanderlust coming back to me from when I used to fly around with Bowler all the time. Yeah, back when you were wearing that weird white armor. Yes. Are you going to look for a fair room by yourself? Ah. Oh, then where were you planning on going? Only a walk. Oh, I see. Doesn't it seem like we've been meeting this way a lot recently? No, it must be your imagination. Did that white armor really look that strange on me? I liked it. It's sturdy and... Are you implying I have bad taste? <laughs> Judith, you look like a flying squid. Anyway, Estelle, repeat. Hello. Rough. So you weren't able to meet Pharaoh after all. But I learned some very important things. The child of the full moon and the intel cave. But the only new thing we learned was what those words mean. As for the reasons Pharaoh's trying to kill you, it seems we won't know unless we go and ask him directly. But you heard what he was saying. If I go to meet Pharaoh, he'll just wipe me out. It looks like we'll never know the truth then. After all this... It's like I'm being told that I should just give up. No, no way. Maybe. Huh? Maybe what I'm maybe what I'm trying so hard to figure out isn't really that important to know at all. What do you mean? If I'd never met you, Yuri, and I just kept living my life in, in that castle, I would have lived without ever knowing about the child of the full moon or the Antelokea or any of that. So maybe I could just go on living without knowing why Pharaoh wants me dead. So you're saying that you should just go back to the capital? I think that's definitely an option. If that's what you want to do, I won't stop you. Yuri. Our contract with you is null and void at this point, after all. That's true. It's just... I don't really like hypothetical situations, not in real life. And I'm no good at pretending to forget things that I already know. Rove does. If you can do that, then I don't have any problem with it. But can you really? Then I... I can't do that either. But I have no idea what I should do with this sort of situation. You want to know the truth, but you don't know what to do. That'd be a good summary of your situation, right? Yes. Gotcha. Yeah, I can't help but feel that I learned anything from that either. I'll think about it. Please do, because I have no idea. Uh, where's Carol? Oh, he's up at the... You can really call it up here. Water's Edge. Ish. Hey, bud. We weren't able to find Pharaoh after all. Yeah, our first job as a guild was <laughs> an egregious failure. What do you think? Should we go back to Dancrest? That might be best. But would you be okay with that, Yuri? And what about Estelle? I'd be fine with it. As for Estelle, I'll leave that answer up to her. Alright. Sure is a serene little town. Huh? Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? No guilds, no empire. It's a little strange. Yeah. But I think it's relaxing. Yeah, even so, I prefer Dawnbrest. That's how everyone is. Everybody prefers the place where they grew up. You too, Yuri? Well, yeah, sure. But if we're going to work together in Brave Vesperia, we'll have to decide on a single place for our home base. We could always make some place new, you know. Some place new? Yeah, you know, everyone thinks of Dangris as the Union City, but it's really Altos. It could be like that. Brave Vesperia can make its own city. Brave Vesperia's own city? Yeah, I like that idea. Well, either way, we've got a lot of jobs as a guild ahead of us before we can be thinking about things like that. Yeah. Now that you mention it, Nordapolica is Palestrali's city, isn't it? 
Yeah, if you think of it that way, Nordopolic has more of a guild city than Dongress, even. Yeah, and Pelius rules the city, too. Nordopolic, uh, leader of a city, duce of a guild. I wonder what sort of person Belius is. All we know is that she's female, and her name is Belius. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, I think I've spoken to everyone. I'm <laughs> no doubt forgetting someone. That's a shame. Anyway, I think what I will do for the time being is just crash in and call it a day. Good find on that poor class, truly. How about resting after a hard day's work? 50 gold? Have these people never heard of inflation? Score. Please come again. We look forward to serving you next time. Glad you could make it. Sorry to keep you waiting. You'll be heading back too, right? Yes. Thanks to your help, we've recovered our strength. We were thinking we'd cross the desert with you all. That is, if you don't mind. Just make sure you don't go wandering off. How about us? What's our plan after this? I'm headed for the Air Crene and the Weasand of Kados. But I am curious about the Entelikea too. I have the honored task of delivering this letter here to Bellius. I'd like to meet Bellius once myself! I mean, seriously, the Duce! I want to see just what kind of person the leader of the only guild to rival Altosk really is! It's Nordopolica for me, too. I'm gonna see what Flynn has to say about those knights in Mantake. And that's assuming he's still in Nordopolica, of course. I... I want to know why the Antilochea hate the child of the full moon. Which means I have to meet Pharaoh. But there's gotta be another way that doesn't involve Pharaoh. Right. Besides, walking around in the desert just looking for him wouldn't be easy. Why don't we all head for Nordopolica, then? You're only looking to find out the reason you were... attacked by the Antelikea, correct? E yes I imagine Bellius could tell you if you met with her. Why? Because of the connection between the Antelikea and the Colosseum? I do remember Jaeger mumbling something about the Antelikea of Nordopolica. If we can believe anything he told us. Well... We'll pass through the Weasand of Kados on the way to see Bellius. Good enough? True enough. All right then, Nordopolica it is. Right. First, let's get back to Mantake. Didn't Bellius only meet with people on the night of the new moon? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Crescent Moon, yep. Yeah, we'll have to get a move on if we're going to see her. I'll kick myself if we miss the new moon and have to wait another month. Hunger? I'm so hungry! I'm dying here. Already? The girls look like they're doing fine. Oh. Was that Estelle? Listen, her stomach's rumbling too! I can wait, though it's been a little difficult. Hmm? That sounded like it came from Rita. Judy, you too? Are you trying to see who can hold out the longest? Perhaps a diet is a little bit like a competition in holding out. A diet? What do you need a diet for? Especially you, Rita. Lose any more weight and you'll... I'm just waiting until I finish reading this book, okay? I've been feeding them. What's going on here? Make them some steak. Okay. Telling me I'm not looking after my characters. You guys have been seeing it, right? I've been feeding them. You've seen it, haven't you? Wow, look how far <laughs> we're so far away from where we were before. There's actually no connecting point between this and the rest of the map that we've scared to do. Look at that, they're right beside the water as well. <laughs> like, that sounded more intelligent in my head. They're near a beach. 
Is he on the opposite side of the water there? Oh, mercy be. Anyway, when you're passing through the sands of Kogor, as you approach the central area, you can either enter the desert, which takes you into the kind of dungeon environment we were in before, or you can stay on the field and you can just pass through on the overworld. When you're passing through on the overworld, you start to see just how different it really is. Oh, damn it, sunny. Now, for what it's worth, even if we were passing through the desert, you know, you don't need to worry about water anymore. I mean... Whoa! <laughs> but you do need to worry about enemies! Anyway, let's demonstrate an altered art. Let's give ourselves Azure Edge. Green Spider! Yes! <laughs> With the chain skill set, Yuri changes Azure Edge into Azure Storm. Still, you're, you're paralyzed. So hot. There's no shade or anything. Uh, oh. What's the matter, Captain Carol? Maybe it's so hot he can't speak. You're already pooped? Weak. And you're also much younger than me. Would you shut up? Aren't you hot under that thick coat, Raven? Nah, this clothing is kind of special. Let me borrow it. Ah, my boy. If you're really suffering that much, I'll gladly lend you my stinky, sweaty clothing. Never mind. The heat is at least better than your stench, old man. I think we'd better heal Estelle first. Anyway, Judith, you did well in that last boss fight, so you can sit out for a bit. Repeat, you're back in. Anyways, you can see, it's just as well we went in a kind of vaguely straight line because this central desert area is huge on the overworld. It's massive. It just... Whoa. <laughs> uh. It's like that video game. I keep forget. It's like that other video game. I keep forgetting its name, but it's just... it looks like a massive desert in the cons. Anyway, there are synthesis material points out here, represented by these skeletons. Desire Iron Scent. Desire Iron Scent. Desire Iron Scent. And Desire Iron Scent. Fine, just give me four of the same thing. Uh, here I am complaining. It's probably gonna... <laughs> it's probably for some really good synthesis item. Whoa. <laughs> you guys sure just love appearing out of nowhere. Can't really avoid you. Hooah! Get ready. I'm taking you down. Of course, the good thing about Altered Arts, as I mentioned, if they're very quick to perform, then. I'll blow you away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your burst arts can be altered as well. Divine Wolf Blaze. If Yuri has Chain and Hellfire, then his Divine Wolf changes into Divine Wolf Blaze. Your gold dust from them. Okay, I'll take it. Oh. <laughs> Let's work together. That 
it's over. You don't really cook salads. You just put it in a bowl. Then sprinkle a bit of olive oil on it. And then some feta cheese. And it's amazing. <laughs> I'm not a salad person, but with that little tweak, it's perfect. Can I get up there? Oh yeah. When you actually do properly go wander around the Desier continent, you know, you really get a sense of just how huge it is. Can you see that map there? You can just get a good sense of the size of it. And of course, there's Mantic, but of course, we're. <laughs> Whoa. The air is rippling ever so slightly. <laughs> I'm hoping it can be seen in the video. I know that because I have to save these videos at least twice, there's going to be a slight drop in picture quality, but. I aim to ensure it's minimized. I was going to say, how do I get down from there? <laughs> oh dear. There's a little bit of polish here, you can see it. Oh! It's an ambush! This is awesome! Wait, was that me learning it? What did I learn? What was that Carol? What did he learn? Coil beat, hammer flow upper. Might have been one of those two. <laughs> it must have been coil beat. <laughs> Must have been coil beat if he didn't actually do anything. Concentrate to temporarily raise physical attack. <laughs> Sorry for being so strong. Can a clear CL crystal really be used to make a barrier? If they could, and we had enough, we'd be able to make as many barriers as we wanted. Then even areas that suffer frequent monster attacks could be assured safety. Yeah, but if it were possible, wouldn't something like that have happened by now? Maybe it's best not to get our hopes up about it then. Ever the realist, I see. All I'm doing is speculating on the most probable outcome. Actually, I think that's what being a realist means. Raven had the best point there, you know. Anyway, one more battle, I think, before we get to Mantic. You'll do. This looks easy! Don't get careless! Yeah, I turned <laughs> Rita's arts back on. Don't get in our way. Anyway, whoa! <laughs> I've had enough of you guys. Let's hit semantic. Whoa! Oh, come on! Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky! I have seen certain skits when the characters get really complacent, like if you start cooking a really hot meal in a hot place, <laughs> or you make them eat ice cream in a cold place, then yeah, they're not too keen on that stuff. Just like Rita wasn't too keen on her having to do all the cooking, when I really wasn't. I don't think. Mantic type. Whew, we're finally here. I've seen enough sand to last me a lifetime. You're telling me. Look, there are people outside the town. Wonder if that means the curfew's been lifted. Kumor! He 
Easy now. Haste makes waste. Hurry, hurry, all aboard. Let's all enjoy a nice little tour of the desert, shall we? Thanks, but we've had our tour. But while we're gone, the children! I promise riches to anyone who can bring me the remains of that giant winged monster. Then your children will be able to live in the lap of luxury. Please, don't make us go! Stop your whining. I told you, Vermin, to get aboard. Now get moving this instant. That's just how we were sent into the desert. The giant winged monster must be Pharaoh! Yeah, but what's he want to capture Pharaoh so bad for? Well, what are we gonna do? We can't just stand by and watch, can we? I'll... I'm afraid that idiot isn't gonna listen to anything a princess would say. Then what should we do? Carol, come here a sec. What? Yeah, I could do that. But I'd need tools. Wait, you mean... Yes, perhaps this will help. How convenient. You guys better bail me out if this goes bad. Where did Judith keep that? <laughs> so you did pick that up? Well, it was just lying there. I thought it might be useful. Whatever. Now about all we can do is leave it up to the kid. What is it with these commoners? They're slower than slugs. Get aboard, damn you! Sir Kimor, everyone is aboard! Everyone except yourself. What? Me? Those who do their job slowly will never learn without punishment. Sir Kimor, please, I beg of you. I have a wife and daughter. If you'd like to stay here, I'm sure I could arrange for them to go in your place. Now be gone with you. Carol. Don't worry. That young man is very capable. <laughs> What's going on? Who was it that readied this coach? <sighs> Fix the blasted coach! I will find out who's responsible for this. I've gotta hand it to the little runt. You did it. My heart was pounding like a drum. This won't do anything more than buy us some time, though. I think it's about all we can do at the moment. Yeah, Cat and Carol would start crying if we try to tackle the knights head on. How about we make ourselves scarce before people start getting too curious? I suppose we'll be on our way then. Yeah, I'm sure your kids will be so happy to see you. But there won't always be someone around to save you. Thank you again for all your help. Guess we should lay low at the inn for a while. Using your power to terrorize people. There's not a soul in the lower quarter that evil. You've gone too far this time, Qmore. Oh yes you have, Qmore. Oh yes you have. I'll talk with you later. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that in such a bad way. I'm sorry, guy. Be cool. Let me brush your shoulder. Sup, fool? He's a bit. Oh, you've returned safe from... Welcome back. Looks like there's still good guards watching him. You must be tired. Please enjoy your stay. That Q more punk is a really lousy guy. I wonder why they're trying to capture Pharaoh. I don't know, but... At this rate, they're going to send all of the adults into the, in the town out into the desert. And once the adults are gone, it might be the children's turn next. No, that can't happen. If I just spoke with them as a representative of the Imperial family... Are you forgetting what happened in Hilliard? Yeah, Estelle. You didn't care that you were a princess at all. Ugh. 
So, should we help the townspeople, or should we help ourselves? Rita. Don't you want to know what the Intelikea is thinking? If so, you should put this whole business with Kumor out of your mind for the time being. That's a strange feeling to... It's a strange feeling to be agreeing with you, but... I think we should focus on meeting Bellius for now. Even if we captured Kumor, we wouldn't have the authority to try him for his crimes. We can't do anything about him. We should focus on what we actually can do. If only Flynn were here. Flynn? But where is he? I wish I knew. I'm sorry, Estelle. We don't mean to be ganging up on you. It disgusts me too. To imagine that jerk snoring all nice and cozy in his bed right now. But... Rita, I understand. Lock up a guy like that, and as soon as he's released he'll just end up doing the same thing again. Yep, you know what they say, the only cure for stupidity is death. The only cure for stupidity is death. I guess I'll have to play my, by my own rules. with the noble? Very well. I accept your challenge. No! How oh, could this? You talk too much, Kumor. The time's come for you to make your exit. Do, do you have any idea the trouble you're in for even pointing that thing at me? <laughs> Wait! I'm not the one to blame. I've just been following orders. I had no choice. Then don't hate me. Hate whoever gave you your orders. Wait! How about this? I could use my authority to pardon all of your crimes. A fresh start! I may even be able to have you reinstated as a knight. I have no shortage of money. With enough money, I'm sure I could satisfy your every wish. Go ahead! Tell me what it is you want! There's only one thing I want from you. Uh, and what might that... No, stop! Stay back! Don't come any closer, you beast! I am Kilmore, the captain of the Imperial Knights, a man destined to become Commandant! I beg you, spare my life! P please, no! Not like this! I, I, I don't want to go like this! Tell me, how many times have you heard those very words?
My people have taken control of things here. The residents of this town won't suffer any longer. That ought to put you one step closer to your next promotion. I'm heading back to the others. Yuri, we need to talk later. I know. I'll be waiting, down at the lake. guess this town could ever be this lively yes it's a great relief to know that people here can live freely again i'm still in shock that flynn actually came that was amazing timing but q more might just cause more pain somewhere else you watch flynn will have that guy behind bars in no time right yuri oh uh yeah yuri Raven, you're gonna catch a cold. What's in that bottle, I wonder, <laughs> to his right? He wore himself out playing with all the children. You'd think he was 12 years old. Welcome back. <laughs> They're still going out there. I can't keep up with them. I saw you having a good time, though. You're an awesome dancer, Rita. Shut up. Huh? The old man's asleep already? That was quick. Eerie? Just gonna go have a word with Flynn. I'll be back. So, greetings to all. My name is Andy and welcome back to my playthrough of Tales of Vesperia for the Xbox 360. <laughs> Yep, we're back, and we've got to have a word with Flynn. <laughs> These guys are all so happy now. Their town's been freed. And you guys, I take it you've spoken to your kids. Free from the concealer, and we can return to our normal lives. Good for you! Enjoy your lives that have no internet and only some electricity. Wait, is there something here? Oh, it's just a site guide signpost. Huh. What about you guys? How are you guys getting on? The night is still young. Let's celebrate. You tired already? What about you? Uh, what a great feeling to be free. Oh, I've had too much to eat and drink. Uh, you gotta enjoy yourself, man. Liberation doesn't come around that often. <laughs> what about you guys? How are you guys? I'm dead came back, so I'm not scared at night anymore. I was worried when it was just my sister and me. Like, what if Kimir showed up? But everything's fine now that Dad's back. Actually, I imagine that barrier blast here must make a pretty good nightlight. <laughs> oh wait, serious time. Why don't you have a seat? You said we needed to talk? Tell me, why did you kill Chumor? You know it's not our place to pass sentence on the crimes of others. He was to be punished in accordance with the laws. And just what laws do you think would have punished him? The same laws that failed to punish Rago? <sighs> Give me a break. Yuri, you... The laws have always been the tools of whoever happens to hold all the chips. Just saying that doesn't make it right for individuals to judge right from wrong, or for you to operate your own private court of law. If the laws are at fault, then fixing those laws comes first. It's for that very reason that I'm still with the Imperial Knights. But you can't deny that lives were saved because those bastards were put down. 
You'd rather tell those people, sorry you had to die today, I promise we'll change things soon. That's not what I'm saying at all. They're out there, you know. People so bad, they'll just go on hurting others. What can the average person do but be victimized by people like that? You know it was the same way with our people in the lower quarter. Even so, Yuri, what you're doing isn't right. Do you intend to rain your justice down on all the villains of the world? That's the behavior of a common criminal. I recognize it for what it is, and I've made my choices. Murder is a crime. And even knowing that, you intend to dirty your hands. Intend to? I already have. So this is the path you've chosen. Don't make me repeat myself. I won't. But it seems you don't yet understand the full weight of your choices. As a knight, I cannot overlook your crimes. Captain, I finally found you! What is it? Our barricade of Nordopolica has been completed. Also, it appears that the hunting blades are on the move. Sir, we must go to Nordopolica quickly. <sighs> Captain. Understood. Sir. Yuri? I know you better than anyone alive, Yuri, if you insist on walking down the path of a criminal. So, you heard it all? I'm sorry. Are you afraid of me, Estelle? If you are, you can quit right here. Join Flynn and go back to the castle. I'm not going back. Hey. It's true, the things you've done are against the law. But I... I'm confused. It's also true that your actions saved the lives of others. You never know. Someday I might turn my blade on you. You'd never do something like that without a reason. If you ever end up pointing your sword at me, I'm sure I will have done something to deserve it. <sighs> if you're going to go with Flynn, now's your chance. You seem like he was in a hurry. No. I'm gonna continue on this journey with you. It's what I want. Traveling with you, I know I'll find the right path for myself, too. So what I'm thinking is... Here's to the road ahead. Thanks. sawed logs like that for a good long while. <sighs> yeah, it's called oversleeping. We're ready to hit the road, so get that sleep out of your eyes. Huh? There are fewer nights than before. Yeah, Flynn and his crew went back to Nordopolica. That must mean they were traveling by night. Was there some emergency they had to deal with? Maybe they had to take care of the monsters from the Colosseum. I'll bet Paul Estrale requested the help of the Knights. Hmm. We'll have to wait and see. Hmm? Well, it's just that Flynn said something about a barricade. Barricade? What could that mean? Are they out to arrest Bellius for what happened in the Great War? 
I can't imagine that Polistrale would be outmaneuvered that easily by the Knights. I get the feeling this is gonna get messy. Maybe we should think twice about heading back to Nordopolica for now. But the new moon's almost here. If we miss this chance, who knows when we might meet Bellius again? That's all well and good. I'm just not in a hurry to get tangled up with that armor-wearing bunch. Me neither. We'll just have to be careful, like always. No use panicking about it. Don't forget, I want to take a look at the air crane and Kados. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. All right, let's head out. Anyway, uh, let's see who else we can talk to here. Seems that Captain Kimor wasn't a real magistrate. He didn't want us to find out, so he prohibited the residents from going out. Well, gee whiz. You would have thought at least one of you guys could have taken care of him. Ugh. Hey, it's the kids from before. What are you doing? Oh, isn't that nice? What do you have to say? I just stopped here at Mantic on my vacation. It really is a lovely town, isn't it? It really is. <laughs> they sure had those fireworks prepared quickly enough. Ah, uh, maybe they're using magic. Uh, is there anything else I can talk to here? Pretty sure there should be. Oh, what's back here? Oh yeah, this guy whom I hate. I'm gonna kill you dead, baby, yeah, I'm so dead. Ugh, I hate you so much. Anyway, just keep an eye on that vortex, or black hole, or whatever it is, at least. There really is a barricade that's going to cause problems. <laughs> we can't be clashing with the knights that soon. Not when there's just three of us in a guild. Good day. Ah, are you going to the Wizard of Karos? Yes, we are. Why do you ask? The Imperial Knights have sealed off the passage through Karos. It's not just here. They've set up blockades at all routes through the mountains. Blockades? Why would they? I don't know all the details, but I heard it was something to do with the danger of Nordopolica. What should we do? We need to get to Nordopolica before the new moon. I wish I could help, but they wouldn't even let me through, and I have a travel party. Are you a member of the Fortune's Market? Yes. How'd you get your permit? <laughs> The Empire issues travel permits to Fortune's Market so that mem so its members can travel wherever they want. At least, that's how it's supposed to be. Right, but the Imperial Knights wouldn't let me go any farther. I'm going back to Mantic since there's no way to get around them. Why do you think Flynn ordered the blockades? Hmm, I couldn't say. Either way, we can't afford to be stuck here for much longer. Yes, we'll be at a lot of trouble if we miss the new moon. But I don't think they'd let us through, even if we asked nicely. Well, to be honest, we can go take a look and think about how to get in. The hard part will only come once we've gotten inside. What do you mean, once we've gotten inside? They set up the blockades to make it hard to get out of the mountains. Getting inside shouldn't be nearly as easy, nearly as tough. I think that much is safe to assume. Well then, we should go back to Mantic and do some final preparations? No, we're fine. Let's go like we are. Yeah, wasting no time, guys. Let's go! Great stealth, guys. So that's the blockade? It's a pretty crappy blockade if nobody's seen them. Yeah, it looks like Flynn. It was Flynn Brigade's doing after all. But, what are those monsters doing here? Perhaps they've been tamed by the knights? This brigade has reminded me of Flynn less and less. What the hell is Flynn doing with his knights anyway? With hardcore tactics like this, 
there ain't any doubt in my mind this has something to do with the talk of Bellius engineering the Great War. So how do we get past this checkpoint? How about this? What the hell? Stop it! Settle down! Let's go now. Hey, don't leave this old man behind. What the? Come back, you. Yuri Lowell. See ya. Have fun. Backflip, yeah. That was pretty slick, old man. I thought I'd... Yeah, <laughs> that's too... I thought I'd liven things up a bit. Jeez. Oh great, we've got another one. Sorry, but you're going bye-bye. These basically are the steeds of the Imperial Knights. Yeah, first of all, we've got a Queta. And we've got a night catcher. Oh yikes. <laughs> I hate to be caught by that thing. Oh, repeat got him. Nicely done. Alright! <laughs> they know each other way too well. A little bit of kill there, I think. Oops, I think I've had enough of you guys. The Tamas! <laughs> Man, could you be any weaker? Don't let him trip you up! Resound, oh cry of victory! And here we've got Sinclair Saber. Was that there before? Massive stat boosts for the two of them. I'm thinking it's not. Sinclair Saber. Massive physical attack boosts. Ooh. <laughs> Did I seem a bit too excited there? Yeah. Super Chain. There are many different super chain skills. For Yuri, the combo freak, these are some of the best you can have. This is a pretty good one. Able to link base and altered arts. This basically means altered arts as they are, you cannot chain to them. Like you can't. The same way that you go from base art to arcane art to burst art, you chain those through, but altered arts can't be chained at all. Well, you can chain base arts to them, but nothing else. With these skills you can do that. You can also work backwards too, there's a different super chain skill that lets you combo base arts from arcane arts and so on and so forth. Anyway, once Yuri's done with the Flamberg, that will be his next weapon. Hmm, it looks like they aren't following us. Yeah, but they went and sealed off a dangerous place like this just to isolate Nord Apollica. These guys mean business. Seriously, even bringing monsters to help? Whatever they're doing, it can't be good. I can't believe that Flynn would order something like this. Sometimes orders coming down from the top don't make sense. The meaning can get lost down the chain of command. When a brigade gets a big, big and famous enough, things can start to get out of hand. I certainly know a lot about these things. It makes sense for someone in Altosk. Things can end up like that no matter what the organization. What worries me is how much of a hand Flynn had in all this. I'm sure we'll get a good understanding of that as soon as we get to Nord Apollica. That's right. But we should be on our guard. Even though I find it hard to believe that they're con they've conquered Nord Apollica by force. Yeah, I think Palestralia would have a problem with that. Sorry, Rita. You won't get much time to investigate the Urk, really. Uh, oh well. We don't have much choice. It'd be bad if they caught up to us. Exactly. Come on, let's get going. Yeah, let's go! Ready! Well, here's something to think about. 
Flynn must have been well within range of Yuri when he saw that. Whoa, <laughs> you're keen. When Flynn, when Humor was drowning in the quicksand. I feel like an easy win. Okay, we've got Night Garden and Night Halberd. Don't. Good grief! What's he holding? He's Get cocky. <laughs> I'm running out of magic lens, guys. I should have bought more back in, back in Mantic. A Knight Halberd F. Okay, let's go. Wait a minute, did I pick up that? I thought that was a treasure chest. <laughs> From that angle, it might have been. Whoa. <laughs> I can stun you guys. I know I can. We got a head start. It doesn't Ooh, seem. Score. All right, I've scanned all these guys. Repeat. Your tail? I would almost think that Rita beat me to the fatal strike there with her laser beam. <laughs> okay, I'll leave you be. Anyway, I've recorded two episodes within one recording here, <laughs> so I'm going to take this as my breakpoint. My name is Andy, and thanks for watching my playthrough of Tales of Vesperia. If you've been enjoying the series so far, then by all means, like, favorite, subscribe, and all that stuff. You can also follow me on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not good at promoting myself, I don't like to, and that enemy over there respawned really quickly. Anyway, I will see you all in the next episode, we're going to be heading back to Nordipolica. Until then.